definitely that a happy place. Like I feel that the stage is a place where I really have the opportunity to express myself. Since a young age, BB Brunges knew they wanted to dance. So I originally started dancing back when I was 12. Um, I was taking piano lessons and my piano teacher's son just happened to be a choreographer. And for one of our recitals, they decided to have us do a little dance as a side number. And um, from then on, I just had this attraction to dance. Dancing is something Brunges did throughout high school and more recently decided to take it to the next level through a program at George Brown College. In the past few years, I've really come to terms with my non-binaryness um, and gender fluidity. And um, I specifically moved to Toronto for, uh, from Ottawa with the intention to explore my artistry in that fashion. As someone who identifies as non-binary, Brunges has sparked a change at the school when it comes to conventional gender roles in performance and training. Brunges, who is gender fluid, wanted to take a point class in ballet that is normally a woman's only course, but the school was quick to make the adjustment. I think because I have been vocal about the experiences that I've been through in the past and how um, a lot of my past comes from this inability to have the confidence to take these, like these courses and trying to teach myself, trying to take all of these like dropping classes. I've had a lot of good friends who have um, taken the time to show me things that I wouldn't necessarily know hadn't I been in musicals. Um, so at the same time, it's like, to continue to have that support in point, in something that is groundbreaking, apparently, it's it's incredible. Um, I'm personally, I feel like I'm the happiest performer I've been in a very long time. They hope this will be the beginning of programs in all facets of life taking a step back and reevaluating how they will run their classes. Brunges also has advice to young people confused about who they are. If I can just be a just a motivator for people to just do it like i i wish that i could look back at my younger self and say don't pay so much attention to the people who told you no because the people who are telling you yes are the ones that matter in toronto i'm brandon rowe for city news